must acknowledge that those who carry the emblem of man or woman and out of his or our time, or those who become, become men, women for all times, do not always emanate from eye cadre of society. Often they come from humble background, from grassroots or being among the low ranked order of human society. From there is the rise up to attain greatness in ideas and deeds. Let us learn particularly from a Japanese citizen. His name is Saguzawa. His best-selling book in 1872, he propounded the idea that heavens do not create a one man above or beneath another. The work he called Kagumon no Susume and meaning an encouragement in learning. Over 200 copies of the books were sold. The remarkable essence of his work to which he declared, heaven does not give riches and dignity to people, but the learning and labor does. Fanguzawa rose to the top, though born low, ranked samurai in faraway Kyuzu in Japan came to be the pioneer progressive thinker of Japan that is held so high a team to this day. We also remember great thinkers and fathers of our modern democracy, Abraham Lincoln, the man of his time, a man of all time, gave the real meaning to democracy and the true practice of democracy for America and the rest of the world to emulate. He was also a man that was low, and helped himself and rose to a position of power. And he was the man that emancipated black people in America and he extended to the black race elsewhere in the world. Then, there was a black man. His name is Booker T. Washington. He understood entrepreneurship, the value of freedom for his black race. Those who knew or no black American history will appreciate his person. And he had this wisdom. I have learned that success to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has to overcome while trying to succeed. Booker T. Washington was a free slave at the age of nine. He made his way, he made waves, but it was not easy. He was invited to the White House to dine with um, uh, the then president, Roosevelt. And that created a problem. Why was the president invite a black man to dine with him in the White House? So the racists reacted. But Booker T. Washington did not get discouraged. In fact, he put more effort in the sense that his reaction in the White House created a scenario where no other black man met to dine with the president for nearly 30 years. But that did not deny him. At the same time, he came out and he had a fellow black race liberator. And that was Dr. Du Bois, Dr. W.E. Du Bois. They had split publicly. They did not always agree. But when they had a common cause to meet with the influential people for the common cause in seeking the common goal and the common good for the black race, they were together. They had a great deal of respect for each other. Even after they had a public split, they respected, understand each other's perspective. We learn from actors that a man who desires to be a heir of time and for all times will acknowledge that any public office there will always be with an alternative contending ideas in the quest for social transformation and may also face daunting challenges of the day. This is because in an objective cause of development or even counter-objective strive for development aspirations are more likely to fall in deep to attractive flaws as a consequence of conflicts inadequate in our understanding of human nature 
and his frailties that make us to quickly dismiss and accept or instead seeking a better mode of understanding and managing our collectively enlightened and progressive differences from all ideas designed to move us towards the common interest good for social development. Furthermore, we are likely to move to the point of powerful challenges and emotions, interest, emotional interest, but only the iron logic of facts backed by truth that can confirm our differences and render interpretation that can relate well with us with the passing of time. In all society, contending for social change, we can truly learn that revisionist and dissenting views in all issues of public interest will become generally accepted when the iron logic of facts prevail to convince the thinking majority of society. Therefore, in the chess game of politics, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes compromise is the key to success. That is why our great father, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, once said, compromise the art of symbiotic living, and the most successful politicians are those who compromise for the common good. Why not sacrificing their fundamental principles? Perhaps you might wonder, I have doubled and journeyed so far elsewhere before the core personality of our gathering today. It is because ideas and deeds are often cross-breeding and filters into our national and international life. We feel that the ideas and good deeds of our leaders should also attract the same value and currency of enlightenment, significant enough to be acknowledged broadly with the attributes of a man ahead of his time. The examples of personalities with such attributes that we have learned began within their own humble beginning from their own locality to the nation before gaining international recognition and respect that end them man of his time or man for all time. Our man of the day, the right honorable Chibike Amechi, has the desire and drive towards the direction as an, as an established man of a man ahead of his time. The right honorable Chibike Amechi has an apparent calling to rise to the occasion for developing his society. From his very humble background at the grassroots, he grew up with the masses. He dwelled with them for long. He was a Diob dweller and resident of the area and also schooled there. He was nurtured at the grassroots. He might have felt the pains and pangs of poverty. He likely felt the empathy and sympathy of his poverty shrinking society. He strived to be better, determined to render some solution to his personal status. Um, you know, when we want to make a good job and you have a one minute, at least it's counter to our realistic situation. So I am going to go on to disobey, I'm sorry. Because this is the real meat. So Ains, he saw education as the only way out of poverty. He was educated in hardly adequate, inadequate public school system. He must have felt the crude sense of hardship that catapulted him to seek rural public secondary education 